Hello, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. We are going to be reviewing another footmas card today, another footmas card in the name of Gonzalo Guedes. Hopefully I pronounced that right, I think it could be Gued, Guedes, I'm not too sure, we'll go with Guedes. But this card, it was one of the ones we actually predicted a couple of weeks ago when I did the footmas prediction. And I'm very happy to see it, so I thought... Why not let, let this be the first footmas card we do complete? So before we get into it, thank you so much for all of the support lately on any type of video I've been uploading. Nine subscribers away as I post this from reaching 1,000 subscribers, which has been the goal to hit by Christmas. So if we can hit it, amazing, but thank you already for all of your support. If you are new, drop a like down below and subscribe for much more FIFA 20 content. This, this review excites me today and the clips we've put together are some nice clips, so going through the card, he's going to come in at around 35 to 40,000 coins depending on what console you are on, which is a great price already in my opinion. He's got 4 star, 4 star, 5, 10, high attacking world rate, medium defensive, which is really nice. He plays left wing, Portuguese. Some really, really nice links you can already get him and... I think the left wing in the La Liga, sometimes a tough spot to fill, so this card, it looks good, it looks good. As for the base stats, um, the ones that stand out to me, shot power 89, long shots 88, acceleration 93, sprint speed 92, the biggest increases in this card, you get a plus 4 to vision, plus 4 crossing, um, overall you get plus 2 to the pace, plus 4 to the shooting, plus 4 to the passing, plus 2 to the dribbling, plus 2 to defending, and plus 4 to physical. So, in my opinion, that is a really, really nice boost, and one that I think they should be giving more often to cards like this, who get into footmas, plus 4s, plus 3s, plus 5s, goddammit, just give the cards proper boosts. Um, I went ahead and I actually put a sniper on this card, and I think it's probably the best chemistry style that you can put on him. He goes up to an 89 rated left wing, then he's got the finishing 95, he's got the dribbling, fantastic dribbler on this game. We're going to switch it up today because I recorded these games last night. I wanted to get this video out to you guys this morning. We've just got a whole load of highlights that I did manage to get with this card. So we'll look at them now and I'll talk about the pros and cons for this card. So, Quedes, for me, he was really, really a, st a strong pick. I, as soon as I saw he was posted, I thought... You know what, we have to we have to complete that card. I know that he's going to be a fantastic card in this game because I enjoyed his base card. So if you've tried his base card and you enjoyed it, you will have the same feel with this base uh, with this new Footmas card. Really, really was a great card to use. So, first off the bat, for me, one of the biggest pros was the finishing. It took me a game or two to get used to how this guy plays. I did play him quite a lot quite a lot of striker or a cam left wing we tried him in a number of positions so as I talk about this card just know that he's tested in all three positions really so finishing finishing of 80 I think the thing that helps the finishing the most is the uh, long shots and the shot power more the shot power really 89 shot power massively helps this card because you can do the near post you can do the near post and they work really really effectively with this card as he does he does miss a few but when you're in the box he becomes a very very reliable card and I think this was the game where it clicked for me he does a nice burba spin heel to heel left foot banger into uh, the near post past to Stegen and that was the chance that really made me think right you know what I'm going to play a lot of games with this card I'm going to really test out how he actually plays in this game and long story, long story short, he played very, very well. So I've talked about the shots, the dribbling. The dribbling is really good on this card. I was surprised because balance of 78, it's not the highest. Dribbling 88 though, that's why he can feel so good on the ball. Agility 83, that's okay, but that's why you put the sniper on him. He goes to 93 agility, 90 reactions, 98 dribbling, 86 composure, 87 ball control and... That's, that, that makes him so good to, to dribble with. You can play him in any position. He feels really, really smooth. I was honestly surprised at how smooth he felt in this game. And to, to really just to, to put that icing on the top of this uh, Guedes, he has the four-star combo. Four-star combo is so important on this game. It gives you 
the chance to go on either foot, it gives you the chance to do the Boba spins, um, all sorts of new skill moves with the 4 star combo and for me, I think that's really important for a winger. I've used a few, such as Griezmann, where his left foot, I mean his right foot, sorry, is awful. He scores a lovely left footed shot there, and it just made me think, is this one of the better footmas cards that I have used this year? Well, in fact, I do believe it, it probably is one of, if, one of, if not the best footmas card I've used. I've used Marcus Rashford, we've used, um, we've used that Simon. We've used a Luka Modric, I do believe. We've used quite a few. I feel like this is the best one, guys. I do believe it's the best one, but as for the cons, I would say the stamina, the stamina of 80. It's a bit disappointing, I do have to say. It's probably the one which stands out the most to me, which is a disappointment. You can tell when you're running in with this guy for 90 minutes or even like at the 80th, 70th minute, you can see his bar is a bit depleted compared to the rest of the... Um, players in the team, especially those like Griezmann who has high 80 stamina, but really, you get the job done with him in the 70-80th minutes, because he is that good on this game, I really did enjoy him, I used him next to Usman Dembele, uh, road to the final, uh, team of the group stage Son, who was standing out, it was this Guedes card, and I can honestly say that I was not forcing it to him, so the stamina is pretty bad, composure pretty bad at 81, I do believe that's not the best you could ask for. Sometimes it feels like you get in the position and maybe it's the balance combined with the composure, he doesn't feel like you have 100% trust in his finishing, but as you learn to understand how this card actually operates, it becomes a lot easier for you to finish with this card. Um, and just really overall, I think that as the left wingers come, I don't really think that for the price point, that's what the biggest pro is for this card, the price point. 35, approximately 1000 coins for a card like this, which has had really, really nice boosts. I'm not sure how much he would be if he was on the market because there hasn't been like a card, I, I, I don't know, I don't know how desirable he is, but I do believe that a lot of people will complete this, to be honest, with it being such a cheap card, relatively speaking, with Rashford coming in at over 200,000 and I think the other similar footmas cards are just a really, really are expensive. So for, for a winger, I think I'm going to keep him in my team, guys. I think I am going to keep him. I'm going to pair him with Cristiano Ronaldo. Get that Portuguese link, which should be a fantastic, fantastic duo, really. I do think that they will perform really, really well together. Overall, I think for a rating for this Guedes card, I think what I'll do is I'm going to give him an 8.8. .8. He performed really well for me in a number of Division Rivals matches, he's come off the bench for me already in Foot Champions and had a major impact, so I think if you're going to complete this card you can play him anywhere across the fr front three, even play him at Cam, I would play him uh, even at centre mid if you needed an impact sub. So if you're going to complete him, start him in your uh, main team, that would be really really nice, you'll get a full use of this card, he'll start to feel really good for you as he scores. Just another really nice goal, a bit lucky, but he shows the determination and the fight to get there. I think for 30,000 coins, you're getting a great um, a great card. And this card would probably make my um, best super subs to use on this game. He's not under 20,000 coins, but the impact he had on the game was really, really nice. So just to summarise, 8.8 .8 rating for Guedes. You should 100% complete this card. If you're looking for an impact sub, a fantastic winger on this game, someone who can score you goals, get Guedes. I hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, smash like down below and subscribe for a lot more FIFA 20 content. Hopefully this weekend is really jam-packed full of uh, really interesting footmas cards, Suzuko, all sorts of stuff like that. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon for another FIFA 20 video.